Hello, welcome back. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Anna Piffney. I'm a tattoo artist who's currently self-converting a 32-foot GMC Bluebird with a Caterpillar Turbo Diesel engine into a mobile tattoo and uh, art studio in the front, as well as an RV section where I will be living with my two Huskies, Rogan Star, as well as my cat, Audrey. So in this week's video, I'm going to be doing the furring strips all along the ceiling, as well as taking all the windows out painting those, installing those back in, as well as putting in window deletes, and doing furring strips all around the windows and the sides of the bus. So, that being said, let's get started with the video. I just did half of the, the pre-drilling on half of the bus. I still have the other, other half to pre-drill, but I think I'm going to take a little break now, and then, uh, whew. And then go ahead and pre-drill the uh, furring strips and put those up in the first half of the bus so that way my arms can get a little bit of a break. It won't be as bad doing the wood. <laughs> See, doing this by yourself is a good time. It's a good time. <laughs> Well, the very front section's done. It's hot. There is, I don't think you can see it, but oh, maybe you can. Yeah, dripping sweat. I thought, oh, you know, I'll come at five o'clock and then it'll start cooling down and then maybe I could work on the bus longer, but I'm already wore out. So I think I'm going to try coming tomorrow morning as early as possible and just do that. My arms are so shaky right now. Like, uh. So unfortunately, some of my footage for some reason got corrupted and it wouldn't upload. So um, you got to see the front have the best. I mean, you get the idea uh, of how I was doing all the furring stripes. I just pre-drilled everything into the steel frame and then pre-drilled some of the holes in the furring strips and then screwed them in. It still didn't make it easy though. But. Uh, but yeah, I did that throughout the entire bus, and now at this point, I'm going ahead and taking out the windows on the passenger side and starting to clean all of those.
some of this footage for this video got corrupted and I can't upload it. So you see me starting the generator and putting on my gloves here in a second. That was actually to cut out sheet metal for the window deletes. What I did was use the extra sheet metal that I removed from the ceiling of the bus and then I just made a template of the window and then cut that out. I used butyl tape, which I, you know, I show you later on. It comes in a roll. It's really sticky, sort of like a putty. And you use that to put on the windows before you put them in or on the window sill before you put them in and then you seal it with silicone. So I did the same thing with the window deletes. And then I also, because the sheet metal was thin, I also went ahead and framed that in with some furring strips so it fit nice and snug. And then I screwed it into the actual frame where the window was. So it's nice and secure and then put extra silicone all around the inside and the outside. Here's a photo of the silicone and the butyl tape that I'm going to be using to seal up the windows and window deletes. for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head out. But I got all the windows in. You know, they're all painted in. The window deletes are in. And I just need to do the furring strips tomorrow. So I'm gonna go eat some dinner. All right, so new day. Um, so yesterday I got all of the windows painted, cleaned everything, put in the window deletes, sealed those all up. So today uh, I'm gonna be doing the furring strips just the driver's side left, and then I might do a little bit of framing in on the front or the back section, depending on how things go today. It is pretty smoky outside. We're in the unhealthy range uh, air quality right now. And I mean, you can't even see, there's mountains out here usually, and you can't see any of them right now, I'll show you. Like, there are usually, you can usually see all the mountains back there. And yeah, it's, it's sad, these fires are, really bad right now. This is Audrey. Isn't she precious? Thanks so much for watching. I super appreciate it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. A subscription if you dig it. My cat's attacking me right now. Um, she's not happy that I'm recording a video. Anyway, uh, questions or comments, please put those below. I will respond to those. I'm also gonna put links in the... 
links in the description for some of the items like the kill mat and some of the other stuff, the butyl tape that I use. Uh, and next week's video, we get to do spray foam. I'm really excited about that. I was so pumped to do the spray foam. So I'll see you next Sunday.